Hello friends, good evening. Welcome to the Udu for Beginners. Today we are going to discuss about the inventory part and particularly on the warehouse part. And the use case is that that how you can transfer the products from warehouse A to warehouse B if you have that multiple warehouse scenario. But it's not like that simple that you are going to create the internal transfers. Products will be transferred from stock location of warehouse B A to stock location of warehouse B. Here we are going to create that internal transfer using the transit locations. Why the transit location is necessary? If you want to track your shipment, along with that, if you want that, that if warehouse A will transfer the products from warehouse A to any intermediate location and then from intermediate location to your warehouse B, then then intermediate location will be your transit location. So it will be from a to transit, transit to B. But here we are not going to create transfers manually. If warehouse A to transit will be created, then transit to warehouse B created automatically using the routes. It's a very advanced feature and that routes using the routes we can modify so many things. So without wasting the time, let's do that configurations. Yeah, let me go to that warehouses. So we have already created two warehouses. So let me go through that warehouse. This is my warehouse A, warehouse B. We are second step. We are creating one location, which is the transit locations. So let me open that. Transit location is already created. The parent location will be the virtual. Now, if we want to do the internal transfers, so here internal transfer will be there. And if we don't want to use any of that transit location so what we can do here we can use that warehouse a stock to warehouse b stock and products will be transferred we will add the products and it will be transferred we don't want to do that so for that we are going to create that routes so routes will be a to b just i am for the time being i am giving the name a to b okay now here we want to apply if we want to apply on products product category it will be let me apply on the product category now in the routes we have the concept of rules so here i'm just going to add that rules but before that rules we have to add that operation types because here we are transferring the products from warehouse a to transits so first of all let me create that operation type which is a to transit okay so this will be your, your internal transfers we can apply that any prefix okay and it will be from our we can keep it blank for now okay and this will be from warehouse a to transit okay that's fine i'm just going to save it i'm going to create one more which is transit because now from the transit we are going to tra do the transfer to warehouse B which is again internal transfers we are going INTB okay it will be let me keep it blank now which is transit and this is my WHB okay now operation types are created now I am going to use these operations in the creation of rules now I am creating that rule which is a to transit okay here we are going to use that action which is push and pull okay now operation type will be a to transit so the source location and destination will be fetch automatically now this is very important which is the automatic move here we want when the products will be transferred from a to transit the next operation will be created transit to our B will be automatically so here we have to select that manual operation everything is there now just I'm going to save it now that rule is created and again we have to apply that transit to B again I'm going to use that push and pull now transit to B so destination source will be fetch automatically everything is done manual operations and save and close 
Now this is just we have configured the route. Now I am going to apply that route on the product category which we are going to use it. Let me create one product category for now. Let me create that row. Okay. So the products which belong to row category it will be transferred if that products will be transferred from A to B then this follows this routes. So here you can see that routes we are going to apply A to B. Now I am creating one product for belong to this product category products it will be a let's consider row taste and that will be of course our track and just going to save it now here that category is row all done okay and now just I'm going to add some of the stock in the warehouse A with the 100 quantity. Now this all done. Now I am doing the transfers. Okay, so let me duplicate it first and go to the inventory dashboard. Now I am going to the inventory. Inventory dashboard is there and if we will check our operation types which are A to transit and transit to B. Now let's do that test case. I am going to do the internal transfers for that I am going to the inventory in the inventory the operations and internal okay I am going to do now that product is my row test which is warehouse A I am transferring those product to transit okay I want to transfer those only two products and now just mark as to do and it's validate okay just just hold on I'm making those quantity as a let me make it check availability I'm not sure why the products are not let me make it as a forcefully transfers and validate now it transfer from WH stock to your transit locations let's check in the inventory dashboards currently you can see that there is no process belong to transit to be let me refresh it so now let me go down so here you can see that boom the already one process is created which transfer the products from transit to be warehouse I will open it user will open it and will check that products and quantity all are done if everything will done and it will be validate and the products will be there so what's the what's the conclusion of this use case is that so there is no need to transfer the products from one location of A to one location of B if you need some validation before entering the products into warehouse B and you can use the concept of transit locations one transfer will be created the another will be created automatically so this will be used in this case Thank you guys. You can test your case from your side. You can do the internal transfers from warehouse to warehouse. And let me know if you can find one more interesting case to record me more. Thank you.